Hi, my name is Evelyn Bice. I am a second year PhD student at IGN working in the laboratory of LASTIC within the geovisualization team. My dissertation project is related to the image-based rendering of large historical image collections. Today, I'm going to present to you our work in geometric distortion of historical images for 3D visualization. An image is a 2D representation of space and a capture of time. Over the past years, this ability has been used to collect ancient geographic data. Different practices allow users to access and archive these pictures even remotely, and a digital visualization of these images has become more and more common. However, a conventional strategy does not provide any special temporal information beyond interval filtering. So, an, an alternative solution is to place the image in a 3D context, giving the user additional information through a 3D environment of the photograph scene. Still, the association of 2D historical pictures with a 3D contemporary geographic model raises some scientific issues. One of these is the topic of distortion, when an image needs to be understarted during its projection in a 3D model. This deformation may cause the image to lose its rectangular conventional shape. Today, I'm going to present to you our work in geometric distortion of historical images for 3D visualization, which addresses this problem. The basic outline of this presentation is a brief description of the context of research along with the current state of the art, followed by the problem statement. Next, I will explain the methods and experiments applied to this study with its results. To finalize, I will highlight the main contributions I propose for their improvements. This study is funded by the French research agency ANR in the framework of the Allegoria project. Its purpose is the valorization of large iconographic collections depicting the French territory at different times from the interwar period to the present day. Up until today, there are many institutions that have managed to gather large collections of historical images. And as these datasets increase, it also does the interest to visualize and explore all of these photographs. Different tools exist that have been developed for the visualization of images. The most known and widespread approach is a photo library. It lists and displays the photographs in a 2D grid, and it's managed through different metadata, for example, keywords, categories, dates, and so on. If a geographic context is used, then a simple 2D map facilitates the exploration of several pictures by clustering the images by their geographic shooting place. Still, it doesn't provide any specific single image interaction. More complex applications use contemporary data to give users additional information. For example, Historopin uses Google Maps to allow users to upload and geolocalize manually images, but sometimes can show big misalignments between scene and photo. Snapshot allow a smoother visualization between the photograph and the 3D environment that surrounds the image by implementing a floating quad that contains the texture of the photo. Nevertheless, the navigation is reduced since the user is not allowed to move out from the view of the photo that it's been visualized. In this work, we are interested in the presentation of a single historical image in the context of a 3D model of the photograph scene, specifically the case where the vertical view matches the location of the historical photo and the view is zoomed out to visualize the 3D scene. To achieve this, we are following an image-based rendering approach. We assume that the historical image along with the orientation information that maps the image coordinates with the 3D environment is available. We additionally use a 3D geometry 
It's important to notice that the accuracy of this geometry is not relevant to our method. Any geometry that fills the viewport can be used equally. We define two cameras in the 3D environment. A view camera allows the user to move through the scene. This camera is generally rendered with the traditional graphics pipeline, which applies a pinhole camera model for the rendering of the environment. On the other hand, a historical camera is an estimate of the camera that was used to take the historical image. Since a photograph acquisition process may exhibit small to severe distortion, which is a geometric deviation from the ideal pinhole camera model, the historical camera is better defined as the distorted camera model. To visualize the picture in the 3D environment, the technique of projective texturing can be used, mapping each point on the image to a point in the 3D scene. For a pixel-accurate pre-projection of the historical photo, the view camera can be placed at the same position of the historical camera. A wider zoom allows the visualization of the 3D model around the photograph, which may be shown as extra context. Within this case, the image is understarted, and the result will be a non-rectangular shape due to the distortion handling. In this example, we can see a pincushion distortion on the photograph when the distortion is considered. Distortion can be better examined when we zoom out and imagine there is an infinite sensor in the historical camera. Here, we have filled the void with a grid of the same size of the image only for visualization purposes. Solely a portion of the 3D scene can be observed since the distortion function from the historical camera has a limited domain of definition. Our purpose is to use the distortion information of the historical camera to distort the view of the 3D scene instead of distorting the historical image. This will allow users to visualize an unaltered rectangular shape of the historical image instead of the normally distorted variant. If we take a look at our distortion model definition, for a given pixel point P on a picture, its distortion can be seen as the geometric deviation between its actual coordinates and the ideal coordinates. In the case of moderate distortion, the simplest and most used distortion model is arguably the radial distortion model, which is the one we have considered. It is an inward or outward displacement along a radial direction from the distortion center. It can be expressed by a polynomial series. This mathematical model is estimated by feeding the parameters to observation of point correspondences in the image domain only. Therefore, it can be subject of overfit oscillations or may even not be properly defined outside of this domain. To allow the user to observe some context of the 3D scene around the historical image, the view camera needs to be zoomed out. Thus, the distortion of the view camera needs to extend to points outside of the image domain, where the distortion model has not been fit to any observations, therefore it may present artifacts. We propose an, an alternative solution using the approach of linear extrapolation to extend the definition of the distortion model to be defined in all existing domain, where the function is continuous and non-decreasing. Coming back to our previous grid visualization, the extrapolation allows the user to visualize the context that is outside the limited domain of definition from the distortion model in the view camera. The simplest rendering approach we have used is a one-pass rendering for 3D point clouds. The distortion model from the view camera is applied to the vertices of the 3D function when computing their projections on the screen in the vertex shader. The distortion model from the historical camera is used when sampling the image as a texture in the fragment shader. One-pass rendering for meshes is not suitable since vertices will get distorted but not their edges. To showcase the result when this method is used, for example, 
Here we have used a wireframe tessellated plane in front of the viewed scene. Instead, we propose to use another rendering approach for this type of geometry, where both vertices and edges in the triangle are distorted. This is a two-pass rendering technique, known as render to texture. In the first pass, the view camera is rendered using a pinhole camera model and the distortion model from the historical camera is used in the reprojection of the image. The whole view of the scene is saved as an input texture for the second pass, where it is inverse distorted using the distortion model from the view camera. In this example, we show a comparison between the use of a pinhole model and a distorted model for both historical and view cameras. If the distortion model is not considered, then the view camera and the historical camera can use a pinhole camera model. Nonetheless, misalignments between the picture and the scene are noticeable. These misalignments can be corrected by applying the distortion model to the historical camera, but the image is deformed and no longer rectangular. Our method uses the distorted model for both view and historical cameras. The unaltered rectangular version of the photograph is preserved without any misalignments. Here we can see another example where the image has been placed into a 3D contemporary scene. Our method corrects the misalignments and deformations on the photograph displaying the 3D world through a distorted view. The starting extrapolation point can vary in a range of zero to the maximum radius where the historical distortion is defined. Based on our experience with the tested datasets, the case where the extrapolation radius is the same as the image radius is the best configuration for the visualization of a specific image. It allows the correction of distortion without any overfit. For the interpolation of one image to the other, the extrapolation radius can be reduced to zero for the view camera to have a pinhole camera model and avoid the user to notice the distorted view during the movement of the camera. In summary, we propose a method that enables the camera used in the 3D environment to inherit and extend the distortion model from the camera sensor that was used to take the historical photograph. Therefore, this method provides a formal procedure for achieving a 3D visualization of historical images that present geometric distortions on scenes composed of triangular meshes or and point clouds. Our main contribution is the definition of the extended distortion model for the view camera. The proposal of the use of two different rendering techniques and the change of extrapolation radius are side contributions. As future work, it exists still a lot of possibilities to continue with our line of work. We would like to show the effectiveness of our method by defining a quality metric and extend the distortion definition to other distortion models. Additionally, we plan to work with other historical datasets using contemporary 3D scenes. We are interested not only in present the historical image in a 3D context, but help the user navigate from one image to the other, considering the large amount of photos, its heterogeneity and the available and estimated information. We want to extend our show not only one picture, but several images at the same time. Immersive visualization is another topic to be explored. And for now, we recommend our method only for virtual reality, since in augmented reality, 
the optical view is not subject to distortion. Thank you for your attention, and if you are interested in our work, please feel free to contact us or access our web demo that is available online.